Right guys, back again. Back in the kitchen. Right, let's put the old tea towel on. Right, we're gonna make that beef stew um, that we been talking about for days on the other videos. So um, yeah, we've got a few ingredients going on. Um, we've got flour, thicken it up, carrots, diced beef, Guinness, beef stock, thyme, Bay leaves, leaves, yeah. Um, salt and pepper, and some sugar to season it. Right, and it's going to take once we get it all in the pan. It's going to take about two hours to cook, so I'll just leave it going. Um, so I put some vegetable oil in a big casserole pan. Um, I'm not going to move the phone because it's easier there, but you know what a stove looks like. Um, there you go. So we're going to put yeah, I've put two tablespoons of oil in there. Um, we're going to do it on a big pan actually, so you might be able to see it a bit better on the edge of it. Right, because that's got the bigger ring, so I'm going to stick that on. Oh, that's a bit much. So yeah, heat the oil up. Uh, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, about that, uh, just to cover the bottom. Then we're going to fry off the diced beef. Got about one kilograms, um, so it should see me go in for four days again, hopefully. Uh, there's no cooking, so I'm cooking once, then that will save money, obviously. So yeah, uh, we're going to get these opened up. Um, I should have done it the other day. They've been in the fridge for a few days, so it should, it should be alright then. Um, so let's get these on. These cut open. Right. That's that done. I've got about it's 200 grams in each packet, so I've got about um, five. Packets two, four, six. Yeah. Just get all these ready. So it's a long dish to cook, but it's not to prepare it. This one. Um, so yeah, we'll get this ready. So I'll probably be eating maybe after the gym tonight. Um, we'll see. We're gonna go in a bit. So it depends when this is ready. I'm not going to the gym just yet because it's uh, going to be busy at this time. So just get the oil heated up. I've got my Wushoff knives, I think that's how you say it. They're a German company. Uh, I've got some good knives. About 800 quid, I think they were. Well, 600 probably. Yeah, really good knife set. If anyone wants one but Amazon did it quite cheap and I got it a few years ago with bonus so um, yeah it was the only time I could afford it but yeah really good knives if you want it um, they use them on the Great British Bake Off uh, the same set apparently I didn't know that when I bought them but yeah they're a professional knife set really good quality yeah all right get that all heated up so what we got we've got two two four Six, who do we appreciate? Yeah, let's remember that one. Uh, two, four, six, eight, where's the other one? I was defrosting it, one minute. Right, there you go. Don't matter about the blood, we're gonna cook it all together because we want all the juices going. And um, that's gonna be part of the dish, the juices, so. Um, doesn't matter about the blood. So we're just gonna get it all fried off, get it browned, and then we're gonna set aside, and um, gonna cook the other ingredients, like the carrots, separate and etc., and then season it all. And then we're going to put it all back in, then just simmer for a couple of hours basically. Well, get it simmering and then leave it for a bit. So that should be ready. So we'll get this. Um and it's set a bit high, never mind. Right, let's get the rest of it in. all in there to wipe up.
All right, nice and clean. Clean up as you go, remember, um, unless you don't like uh, a clean kitchen. But yeah, do it your way, uh, if you want. Right, it's nicely cleaned up now. Uh, we'll clean the oven afterwards. Right, that's all clean. All right, get the old, uh, the old chef thing again. All right, there you go. Ready? All right. Uh, get some one of these, or whatever you like. To get all that brown browned off. There's quite a lot here, but it will last a few days. This one. Yeah. Right. Turn it off a bit now. It's uh, now it's out of fit. I think we'll be all right now. Show you what's going on. I call that diced beef. There you go. Look at that. So we're just getting all browned. Yeah, brown first, and then we'll set aside, and then we'll do the carrots and get them brown as well. Really, you're supposed to do these in batches because there's quite a lot there. So um, you're supposed to cook a bit, take it out, cook another bit, keep doing that. Just because there's more room in the pan, but it's fairly big, so I'll just do it all in one go. And then if any are browned earlier, you know, than the others, I'll just take it out and just wait for the others. Okay. And then just fry it off. And we'll probably use this plate. Okay. That's a clean one. See, you've got the tea towel handy ready. Just to give it a rinse because it had uh, the meat on from the fridge, I think. When they were, when they were rest, resting in the fridge, but they're in the packet, so it's already clean, but I'm just going to cook with rinse. Right, there you go. When they're done, I'll stick them on that plate and we'll be ready. Put it aside. Looking good. Never know what to do with diced beef, but the stew's the best thing because it's um, you can slow cook it, um, it tastes a lot, a lot better because it's quite tough meat. Then we'll probably do some, uh, mm, might get some potatoes and we can do mash. Creamy parsnip mash, that's a good one. Um, that's a good one to do. Uh, I don't know, I might just have rice, I don't know yet. We'll see what. I think I'll use rice, so I don't have to spend any money because I've already got that in. I'm about saving money at the minute. Right. So what we're going to do, uh, I might come back to you because uh, you're just going to watch me mix it. I don't think you all want, you know, want to see me doing that, stirring, you know, I'm good at that, you all know that. Um, so yeah, we'll just wait for that to finish. So uh, yeah, I'll, pause, I'll pause that for now um, and then I'll come back to you once it's all fried up and set aside and we'll do the next day. Okay. All right, back in there. Hold tight guys. Right guys, I'm back again. Um, as you can see, it's all browned off. We've got all the juices in the pan as well. Um, you're going to remove some of the juices in a minute with the meat because um, we want to do the carrots and we don't want to boil them because um, it will do that in there. So we want to fry them off. Okay. So try and get as much juice as you can out with the meat as well. So we like to want to fry the carrots. Um, so find a spoon. I've got a slotted spoon. The juices will go through, but it will collect some. You can keep some juices in there still if you want you're going to be tipping the juices back in anyway soon um, so we'll just turn that down a bit because it's bubbling away right so we'll get all this out look at that right you see bowls this way
going to tip the juices in a bowl as well. Some of them, you can see, keep some in there, it's fine. You're going to be putting it back in later. Another seven. Get out. some of the carrots off now. Just have a look at that. No, no good at this. Right, there you go. Got two bowls full. Uh, yeah, let's do it that way. Let's see what I'm doing. Yeah, one. Uh, two bowls full. So we're going to fry the carrots off now. We'll get the phone to stand up. I we'll have to get a proper video recorder soon. So we'll do it properly. Um, right, so we have the carrots and some garlic powder. I brought garlic powder, not garlic powder, start again, the onion powder. The reason why? Remember, I don't like onions. The onion powder is fine, just the texture I don't like. So I bought onion powder instead. Um, you would normally chop up an onion and put that in here as well, but I don't like onions, so powder is fine. So I'm going to get these in now. Uh, I've done about eight carrots, really, you need about ten for this recipe, but I only had eight. But it's fine. So it's up to you how many you want to put in. About, yeah, you should, it's 10 for the recipe, so if you're near about there, it'll be fine. They're quite big carrots anyway. Okay, all right, so that's done. Right, let's get these fried off uh, and some garlic. Uh, sorry, I keep saying garlic, onion. So I've got uh, onion granules. Okay. Okay, but like I said, you would use a proper onion if you like onions. So yeah, we'll put about a tablespoon in, uh, a couple of tablespoons because it's quite a big, it's quite a big dish, so there you go. I don't need that anymore. I'll get these fried off. Turn the heat up. I'm just going to put some more juices back in there because it's, um, it needs some to fry properly. It's taking all the oil out as well. So. Fry these off, brown them uh, with the garlic. There's garlic, I keep saying garlic. If I say garlic, I mean onion, okay? Just in case I forget to correct myself, okay? So, I'm gonna pause it again, and I'll be back with you, because it's gonna take a while to do this. Uh, just cut the carrots into rough chunks. Top and tail them, peel them, and then rough chunk, chunks. Yeah, and chop them in, so, um, let me show you the size I've done. They only have to be rough for a stick. Uh, there you go, yeah. All right, and then what I'm going to do is then I'm going to scatter it with flour once they're browned off and that will thicken everything off. Then I'm going to tip all the juices back in, but we'll pause it for now because we get these fried off. It's going to take a while, so uh, I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, hold tight. All right, guys, I'm back again. Um, just before I carry on, I just want to say thank you to Carla. Um, you'll probably watch this, and I've just done it again, what I'm about to thank her for, for making it known that I do... Um, a lot in videos and yes I have noticed um, and I've done it again I seem to be a bit conscious of it now so thanks for that yeah we'll see if we can work on that just doing my head in as well now uh, uh, I'm going to do that right anyway thanks for that Carla but yeah I'll sort it out there you go they're all browned off um, normally you'd wait for the onions to be browned off as well um, but I haven't put any in only the garlic powder Some garlic powder onion powder done it again right here we go I'm right, going to scatter in some flour, about two tablespoons. This will thicken the sauce up, um, well, the juices. Um, did it again. So, about two tablespoons, plain flour. One. Two. Noise going off outside. Not that is. I'm going to get a knock on the door now. Right, where's my thing? Right, here we go. We give it a mix with the flour in. Right, we're going to tip the meat back in with the juices as well. Bit of stir. 
try and get all the stuff off the bottom of the pan for something to burn. Um, that's fine. Just stuck to the pan, that's all. Right, there you go, give it a good stir. There you go. Then, we're going to add Guinness. Now, I don't drink Guinness. This is part of the recipe, so I'm going to see what it's like. This should give it uh, some nice flavour. So, I'm going to stick that in. And then, I'm going to season it all. And then, I'm going to put it in the oven. I meant to say, uh, the oven is well preheated to 160 degrees before you start. Okay. Um, you can do it lower if you want, um, the lower the better really, for this sort of dish, but yeah, there you go, I've bought about 500 ml, so that's a whole bottle of this basically, that's the one, that's the one I, I went for, it's just original, so shove all that in now. Mm. Yeah, smell of vision is amazing, get all that in. Just give it a stir. Yeah, that smells amazing. She has smell of vision. Right, we're going to put in the stock cube. Crumble it in, there's no need to put it in water because you've got enough liquid in there, so just crush it in, it'll be fine. And just a VFOXO cube, just one. Yeah, sprinkle it all in. Uh, salt and pepper, the usual seasoning staples. B&M rubbish again. I have to get some proper salt and pepper. Proper sea salt. Okay. There you go. Then we're going to put some bay leaves in. Oh, actually, we'll give it a stir first because we want those just on top so we can pick them out later. So we don't really want to stir it right in. That was amazing. Right. Give it a stir. Right, salt and pepper's in. So we just want some thyme as well, actually. Do about a tablespoon of that. Yeah. Well, no, just a pinch, actually. You don't need, you don't need a lot of that because it's quite strong. It's just a sprinkle of it, actually. salt and pepper in. I want a pinch of sugar as well, which should make it nice and sweet. Um, just do a pinch, I'm just going to do a teaspoon of it. Yeah. And just sprinkle it in, give it a stir. to go in on the top because um, we want to pick them out really we don't want to eat them after How about three uh, I've got small ones so I'm going to put about four in okay four yeah, we'll just put them on top don't, don't stir it in just put it on top then it's easy to pick out later and just push them down a bit right they're in and that's your lot put the lid right we're going to simmer it Simmer in, and then we're going to put it in the oven for two and a half hours. And you want to make sure the meat's tender, then you know it's ready. If it's not, just do it a bit longer, it should be nice and tender when you squeeze it. Okay, and that'll be it. Um, so I'll we'll put it in the oven in a bit once that's simmering, and we'll come back in a couple of hours and we'll see what it's like. Okay, so that's another recipe for you. I um, hope it wasn't a bad video for you. I've not done one in a few days. I know we're back in the kitchen again, so I'm getting a little bit boring now. I'll do other stuff soon eventually. But yeah, let us know uh, also anyone that wants that Spotify playlist, like I mentioned on the other videos. Uh, I've got hundreds as well, not hundreds, but I've got about 50 or 60 songs on that. I'm really good at the minute. Uh, so let me know if you want that link, if you're using it, share it, follow it, and then any time I update the songs, you'll see it as well. 
So yeah, we'll get this uh, done, stick it in the oven, and we'll come back to you in about two and a half hours, okay? Awesome. Hold time.